All right, gang. We are gonna try to keep this real raw, unedited as possible. You know what I'm saying? I can't promise I won't make no chops or you know what I'm saying none of that because I'm not perfect and I got a lot to explain and say or clear up or you know what I'm saying just talk about and it's gonna kind of be like you know what I'm saying a little clear in the air and update with me and kind of everything that's been going on my relationship etc so uh by the way y'all just feel hella weird like even me just setting up the camera setting up the lights and everything it just feel weird because i haven't recorded and done this like in months so um yeah this kind of just feel weird but anyway um yeah i want to clear up some statements some false accusations some stuff that's been said that's not true like people putting their own plot twists and stories together and you know, some people running with this and saying this, and some people running with that saying that. And yeah, didn't get it from me or Tay. Didn't get it. I don't know where people be getting this information from, where they be getting this stuff that, you know what I'm saying, be put out in the air. I don't really know. I'm going to speak on some things. Some stuff is meant between me and Tay. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop into this. So first thing, y'all, I want to clear, y'all, is some crazy false rumor about me moving to Atlanta and managing some YouTubers that I worked with personally in my past. Um, that's not true, y'all. That's false. I actually tweeted, and um, a supporter tweeted me back and said that that was being said by some T page. I don't, I don't know, y'all. But I just want to let you guys know, for me personally, I never said I moved to Atlanta. I never said I was managing this person, that person, and a third. That never came out of my mouth. Never been said by Jazz, never been said by me. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that came from at all, y'all. Uh, the second thing I want to, like, you know what I'm saying? First of all, as being a YouTuber, she should know that, you know, people are going to make up shit. You know, people are going to make up shit regardless. And, you know, it is what it is. Kind of clear up is the whole stage thing. Like, I seen someone where somebody, I don't know, man, somebody posted where me and Tay were staging a breakup, bro. Come on, man. Like, bro, I'm not finna. I am a content creator, you know what I'm saying? And I do do stuff for entertainment purposes, but come on, bro. I don't know where people be getting stuff from, man. Like, I wouldn't put my emotions in that. I wouldn't put another person's emotions in that. I wouldn't put my supporters, our supporters' emotions in that, bro. Like, you don't even play around like that. Like, bro, like, this shit is real, bro. Like, shit got real. Shit get real. Like, bro. This is somebody's whole relationship. I know I wrong my relationship to YouTube, and you know what I'm saying? People gonna put their own opinions and intakes and stuff on that. But like, at the end of the day, we are two humans, you know what I'm saying? We not perfect, and that's just what it is. Like, it's nothing to be staged, y'all. People break up all the time. Things happen all the time, and people separate all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's life, it's, I don't know, I don't know, man. I'm not, that YouTuber, we are not those YouTubers who will stage a relationship breakup for some likes, cloud. That's just something else I wanted to clear up. Another thing I wanted to clear up is, I don't know, a lot of people have been saying, like, um, my business page on Facebook is not real ever since, like, me and Tay broke up. They think the page is not real. The link is in the description down below, y'all. This is my real Facebook. It was my real Facebook page before uh me and Tay even got together it's just i work with a company they're gonna post anything with me and if i'm in the video they're gonna post it so no matter who's else in the video page always been named perfect lives it never changed even when our relationship even when i changed the picture to me and Tay, all day y'all like the page was named perfect lives it never changed that's you know what i'm saying that's that that's my page y'all i just want to let you guys know that that is my official facebook business page you know what i'm saying so it's good it's gucci i just want to let y'all know that that is really my account it's not a fake page you know what i'm saying i do work with a company to post content on there but it is my real page you know what i'm saying um yeah so moving forward let's go ahead and move to the next thing uh, which is what like happened between me and Tay? A lot of people want to know why we broke up, why we separated, um, why she moved out. Because I do 
live alone now, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't live alone now, you know what I'm saying? But I don't live with Tay anymore. Uh, but I know y'all got to see that the setting look different in this room. Got a new bed, got a new setup. A lot of people want to know what's the reason? Why did we break up? What happened? You know how when you're like going through something, you still be like processing certain things and why certain things, you know what I'm saying, happened and et cetera. But um, y'all, like me and Tay, we, the whole year 2020, we were kind of like disconnected. I'm gonna be honest. All right, yeah, I take like a little pause. Cause this is like actually like my first time really talking about it in a way like you granted keep in mind this happened all back in december so it happened all back in december so she didn't really talk about it she's just now coming out with it so is tay as well oops dropped my phone so is tay as well you know and i've watched these videos many times myself as well so one of my parents you know, found out and they seen what's going on and they reached out to me. I just kind of kept it like at a, you know, like I'm good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything will be handled. You know, I'll figure everything out, which I've always been that type of person. Like, oh, no, I just have a hard time, like showcasing my emotions and really telling people like how I feel and et cetera. So this is like, you know what I'm saying? Just bear with me. That's all I'm saying. Just bear with me. So. Basically, y'all, the whole 2020, me and Tay, we were basically kind of disconnected. Our communication was totally, like, it was out of there, man. Like, it was shit. Like, it was ass. Like, we were not communicating the way that we needed to and the way that we wanted to as a couple. And I felt like back then I wasn't understanding enough. Because, you know, I'm going to be a bigger person. I'm going to be, you know, a bigger person and admit my wrongs and say when I was wrong. But, you know what I'm saying? It took me to, like, December to look back at the entire year and really, like, look at things as a whole and, like, divide it. Like, damn. Damn. Like, maybe she was calling out for help. Maybe I did miss the signs. Because she had told me, you know, um... Now, Tay had posted a video, too, as well, saying that basically she was calling out for help, but it wasn't calling out for help. It was just kind of trying to kind of get her to listen and communicate with her. Basically, Tay was trying to bring the communication back is what basically is being said here. Because communication is key in a relationship. Communication, trust. Honesty, all of that. Another thing that she was calling out for help the whole year, and I was missing the signs, and maybe I was, I was, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just wasn't hitting on to him until like kind of the end of November. Like, I just like, something was off. I'm just like, bro, something is very much off. I'm like, everything just don't even feel the same. I'm like, we are not here. You know what I'm saying? We are not here. We are not here. Like, we would be good. It would work out for a week. And then... We're offering contact-free services for your safety at Firestone Complete Auto Care. Get paid up to two days early with a direct deposit. Install the Chime app today and get started. No matter what. And we will be back in the same place for another two weeks, two weeks and a half. We'll talk it out. Everything will go back to good. I was out work on this, and I'm going to do this. And I guess to her, she wasn't seeing the progress. She wasn't seeing the change, how she wanted to see it. And I don't know if she wanted to see it immediately. Or she always would tell me, like, Yo, I'm, not, I'm not trying to see it immediately. Like, but I'm also not seeing any actions. So... I just feel like I had a lot to work on. And then a day in December, she had like a little breakdown. That's where she had made the post that you guys seen. And I didn't know nothing about the post. I didn't know nothing about the post at all until 11 o'clock that night when I personally had got on um, Instagram. And the great thing about it, like, I just, I don't know how I did not see it. Like, I just did not see it until that night. And that night when I seen it, 
man, I mean, it just, the argument just got worse. I just feel like you didn't talk to me before you had me. Now, the post she's talking about is a post that Tay posted on Instagram, throwing up the middle finger and saying that Jazz is trying to create this image behind, but behind closed doors, basically, it's not all that it seemed to be. That's basically what it, to sum it up, that's basically what it's, what she's saying. Ain't that post, but she claims she had been trying to reach out and been trying to call out for help. And basically that I was missing the sign, so that was her only way of letting out emotions. And you know what I'm saying? Um, I told her, you know, I understand. I was like, okay, after I actually sat down and thought and looked back on it, I was like, okay, understandable. But um, yeah, from there, we were trying to kind of like work on it. It wasn't working. Um, we were steady, like, withdrawing ourselves. We were disconnecting even more. And just with everything that was kind of, like, going on, everything that y'all understand, we are real people. We got real feelings. Real shit was said. Like, you know what I'm saying? Real shit was, was said when you are arguing. Real feelings are put on the floor. Like, real shit that you didn't know a year ago or feelings that you didn't know was there were said. So from some of the things that she had said, my heart, my mind, my body, I honestly, I, I just feel like I couldn't, like, I couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't, like, I don't know. Something in me was just like, it's time to focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's time to just put yourself 100% first. It's time to get back to you, like, you not even you, like, that's what my mom was telling me, so I just knew that, like, us trying to work on a relationship right now when we really need to work on ourselves individually, it wasn't going to work. Us staying in the same house while trying to do that, even staying in different rooms and stuff, it wasn't going to work. We needed that separation. We needed that space to grow, like, we need that space to grow individually. And um... Now, when I watched Tay's video... And she watched this particular part. She said that Jasmine had already been working on herself. You know. But you have to go and watch that video for yourself, though. That's something that I explained to her. And she noticed. And, yeah, that's basically when she decided um, towards kind of the middle end of December to get her own place. And... That's where that had came from. And man, I'm still like processing a lot of this, y'all. So if you hear me saying like a lot of just, man, and I'm still processing it because it's kind of like the first time it actually came out my mouth. This is the first time. Like I told you, I haven't talked to my parents. I don't even talk, I ain't talked to my own family about it. Like, I'm just a real, like, I keep it, I keep everything in type of person. Like I keep everything in. I like to deal with it by myself. I'm that Libra, like, yeah. That's what happened with that. Like, nobody stepped out. Nobody did no real crazy. Man, I don't know what the hell y'all was thinking. Stuff happened in the relationships, and sometimes people grow apart. People disconnect. Sometimes shit happened. That's that's relationships, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like we've been together for three years. I've literally been with that girl since I came to Houston. I still put in Houston. And I saw her, and I, I just could nobody like tell me to not fuck with her. Like, could nobody tell me to not like mess with Tay? Like, that was like that was my baby. Like, that was for real. Like, could nobody tell me not to mess with her? You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, I just feel like she been with me since she was 18. She finna be 22. I've been with her since I was 20. You know what I'm saying? I just turned 24. You can tell this is really crispy, juicy and tender. Because we wouldn't take the time to butter all these potato buns if it wasn't worth it. Introducing McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwiches. They just celebrated for three years before they broke up. And we just never had that space. We've never not been up on each other. Like, I met that girl, like, that girl moved in, like, with me down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, immediately like we started hanging out and it was us like I was you know what I'm saying we wasn't going nowhere 
and everything moved fast and we never ever had that separation we never had that time to grow in those younger times like that in our life and I told her like right now we just need that time to grow and both get our mind right I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling drained I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling unhappy you know what I'm saying and I don't want to feel any type of way my damn self because I was just feeling a place where I just was not right you know what I'm saying like right now I'm feeling way much better that actually happened at the beginning of December where we had separated it's going to be February um I'm no I'm definitely at a better mindset I'm definitely at a different healing stage um I've accepted a lot of different things I've accepted reality and that's one of the things I had to do within this process is split my reality from my heart you know what I'm saying I had to split them I had to take away what my heart really wanted and put the reality out there because I knew we could keep trying we could keep doing this but we just kept falling into the same sunken place like, you know what I'm saying? Being happy for a week, a week and a half wasn't going to cut it just for us to go back in the same sunken place. And I just wanted to let you guys know that we weren't perfect and we aren't perfect and we still don't make mistakes and we still... It takes two to work on a relationship, not one. It takes two, you know, to work on a relationship. And nobody's relationship is perfect, no matter... I don't give a damn what other people say. Their relationship is not perfect whatsoever. Nobody's relationship is perfect. You're going to have your ups and downs no matter what. Our growing, we still are young adults. We still have a whole lifetime ahead of us. And I just want to let you guys know there is no bad blood between me and Tay. You know what I'm saying? We are cordial. Um, I wish nothing but the best for her. I wish her success. I wish her success on her YouTube journey, on her business journey, on anything she want to do in life. I wish her nothing but the best. I want her to succeed. I want her to grow. I want nothing but happiness for her. And to my supporters and to our supporters, thank you guys for supporting me and Tay on that journey. Thank you guys for coming with me, for, you know, being there for me, changing my vlog channel to a couple's channel, watching that journey, supporting me through that journey, and... I just want to say thank you guys so much. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make bump content. Without you guys, I just want to say a lot would not have happened in my life that happened without, you know what I'm saying, my perfect squad. Okay, well, with that being said, I'm going to stop the video right there. But that kind of summons up why they broke up. But also, like I said, Tay's got a video up too. And then there's... A few other videos that are up as well. And I will put the links in the description below. And y'all can go and check them out. But other than that, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Mm-hmm.